It's not clear what started the shooting, but those who live near the scene say they heard dozens of shots go off. Some even took cover, believing they were going to get caught in the middle of a crossfire. I started making dinner and I hear like super loud sounds. Just outside Lena's condo building, she and other River North residents were jolted by the sound of gunfire on Saturday evening. There were a couple of witnesses and they were telling us how one guy was being chased and then he got shot in the corner um, and then um, a couple of his friends came and picked him up and drove away. The gunshot sent former state representative John Fritchie into fight or flight mode. Heard a couple loud noises, which I knew right away were gunfire. Turned and started running with the dog and heard a few dozen more shots go off and people were just scattering everywhere. According to CPD, a 27 year old man was on the sidewalk along Erie and Orland streets around 630 PM when a person approached him and started shooting. It's not clear if this was targeted or not. Police say the gunman shot the man in the head and the victim is in critical condition. He was running all this way. I don't know where he started with like an automatic and the handgun. I mean, that's what I heard. It's terrible. It's horrible. I don't know what it's going to take to get those things outlawed because they shouldn't be anywhere. I mean, in war, yes, but not in uh, not in a city. Residents believe they heard between 40 to 50 shots being fired, saying gunfire is changing the perception of their neighborhood. This is the third time that I've been walking my dog in the afternoon that we've had to either run or take cover from gunfire. As remnants of police tape, blood stains on the ground, and a shot out window remain visible at the scene, many have expressed a desire for a safer Chicago. The bigger issue, though, is it shouldn't matter whether you live in River North or North Lawndale. This can't be a regular occurrence in our lives. CPD also says after the shooting, the suspect took off in a Jeep and then hit another vehicle near the west side. Officers took that person into custody and charges are pending. Reporting in River North, Andrea Medina, WGN News.